So it always cracks me up when I come to Disneyland by myself. Cast members will say, hi guys. I'm by myself. Just one guy, just one. So I just got to downtown Disney and uh, I feel like this vlog is gonna be kind of short and uneventful. I'm basically just stopping for dinner because I'm in the neighborhood, um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so speaking of cast members telling me things, as I was walking in, one just pulled me aside to tell me that my zipper was down. So this trip is going great. It's not very crowded today. There's not much going on. Um, trying to decide what I want to eat. I know there's like five places with like super plain, like veggie burgers. There's also Asian street eats, which I know I like. I think I kind of want to try something new today. So I ended up going to La Brea Bakery to try their vegan burger. Um, this is their veggie burger on the menu. You have to swap out the bread to make it vegan and also order it with no cheese. You can get their house-made veggie burger or impossible burger, which is what I got. And it was good. It was okay. Um, I didn't have any complaints about it except for the fact that it was a little bit over $20. And um, downtown Disney seems to be full of sort of basic $20 burgers. I don't know why. But if I'm going to spend that much, I would rather go to Tortilla Joe's. Um, I probably wouldn't get this again, but I am glad that I tried it. They also had two types of vegan gelato on their menu, which I didn't try this day, but I would definitely come back for. Up next, I went to check out the new Backlot Shop on Stage 17. This is located inside of DCA, but you don't really get to go into California Adventure to check out the shop. You enter through this back gate, which I think is a cast member entrance. The Backlot Shop does have a lot of the same merchandise that you would see at World of Disney and other downtown Disney shops, but it was cool to be inside of DCA for the first time in many, many months, and um, it was cool to see it from backstage. shop had a jungle cruise section so I made sure to check that out first um, I have a pretty good feeling that I'm going to get one of these prints not this one not this one this one um, I have a feeling I'm probably gonna get this but um, I didn't get it that day for one thing because it's 50 bucks and another reason is I just want to get a little bit further on my Jungle Cruise project than I am now. I also saw that they had them in postcard format and I was really tempted to just grab both of them but I think I'm gonna hold out and get the nighttime purpley uh, larger print. <music> So this is half of my glasses fogged up. Can you not do that? 
Um, okay, so I just finished at Downtown Disney. Um, I had a good time. I spent probably, how long was I there? Maybe two hours. Um, I ate my dinner. I don't need to reiterate everything that I did because you already saw it. Um, but I did end up buying this puzzle, this Disneyland map puzzle. It was only $12 and I feel like it's a thousand pieces and it's like very detailed and I feel like it's going to be I'm literally just doing this whole video with my glasses half fogged up. I thought it would have gone away by now. Anyway, I feel like because it's very detailed, there's like a lot of little stuff going on. And because it's a map of a place that I'm familiar with, I think it will be fun to do like multiple times. I mean, probably not like consecutively. I'm not going to like binge this pu puzzle for like, you know, time after time. But um, I think it'll be fun. And then maybe when I eventually get tired of it, I could like do that thing where you seal it and turn it into a picture and hang it on the wall. That was the only thing that I bought. Um, the only other thing that I thought about buying was like pins. I wanted to maybe get like a mystery pin set thingy, but um, decided against it because my main reason for wanting to get mystery pins is because I end up getting duplicates and then I can trade them. But like, who am I gonna be trading pins with right now? The park is closed. There's no pin <laughs> like what am I gonna do with my duplicate pins until the park is open? So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait on that. The other thing that I wanted to get and kind of one of the main reasons I wanted to come down here this week is because I was gonna try the uh, pumpkin, whatever it's called, pumpkin potion or something, ice cream from Salt and Straw. They have a new uh, vegan flavor, seasonal flavor. And um, you guys, I am like, I'm, I think I'm like done on the pumpkin. Like I've been eating pumpkin spice every day almost like since mid-september <sighs> including like the pumpkin spice creamer in my coffee <sighs> pumpkin spice ice creams pumpkin spice muffins pumpkin spice waffles pumpkin spice i'm like bubba from forrest gump but like pumpkin spice everything so i think um <laughs> i think pumpkin spice and i might be done for the season maybe i will try it next year that ice cream I mean because really the only thing that I'm in the mood for right now is a Dole Whip and I know there's a place like 10 minutes away where I can get one but I don't think I'm gonna do it today maybe I'll make another trip out this way for something I'll find a reason to come out here again and I'll get a Dole Whip actually I found out there's a place near my house that sells Dole Whips and I haven't been there yet I kind of don't want to go because I feel like it's going to become a habit but but I also want to so that might be a thing that happens soon anyway I am going to go home. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna listen to Hootie and the Blowfish because I'm gonna wait in my car. I saw a guy wearing a Hootie and the Blowfish t-shirt randomly and I didn't, it was, I was very caught off guard. I was not expecting that, but um, I think I will give Hootie a try on the way home. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next video.